Okay, so let's talk about Westfield Stratford then. Uh, so basically, uh, I think it was the Monday after I played in, uh, in Stratford, the day, two days after I played on the Saturday, I got an email from one of the managers that does the Westfield music things. Basically, paraphrase, she said, unfortunately, you cannot play there anymore because there's too many complaints from shops. Um, shops are the plural, she said, even though it's just shop, it's just one shop. And she said, ultimately, I have to take uh, the word from Westfield, Shrapping, Corp Westfield Stratford Corporation, and they have asked me to no longer play there due to the large number of complaints. Okay, so let's break this down. What's actually happened with Westfield Stratford? More or less, um, the first few times I played there, there's this one shop. I forgot the name of them. I don't want to pick out names, so even if I didn't know the name, I wouldn't tell you. But there's one shop, there's one lady. Uh, she always used to come up. She, was, she First of all, she looked at us really, really badly. She just stared at us the whole time and looked like she was angry with us. And then you can see her going on her phone and then calling up um, the Westfield like security guards. And obviously the security guards can do nothing about it because there are security guards that have been asked to play there, so they can't really kick me off my spot. Um, so that's happened for a number of weeks. At first, uh, one time actually, she came up to me and she said, please, she said, in a kind of rude kind of way actually, she said, please play softly. Even though I had the amp all the way turned down, I tried to help her out. Please play softly. When other pianists are there. They always, we, we, we have no problem with it, but you, for some reason, you're just annoying the customers, you can hardly hear the customers. Blah, blah, blah. Even though the shop's like 10 meters away from this piano, this concert grand is about seven foot, yeah, about seven feet, and it's about 10 meters away, she was still complaining. Okay, that happened the first time, nothing happened. The second time, though, thank you for all who was involved in this. We boycotted the shop. She was like, let the, there's about 50 people there. Let him play, let him play, let him play. That worked really, really well. And that, I got to continue playing and doing whatever. Now, another time I played there, um, uh, the Westfield music manager came down. And obviously this woman jumped up to, she's an Asian woman by the way, she jumped up to, this, to the wrestle manager and started complaining to her really loudly. And I carried on playing and the wrestle manager said, that's okay, because look, it's an acoustic piano, da 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 da, it's fine. Um, so he can continue on playing. So I continue on playing, I played play for another couple of weeks. And now let's talk about January, just past the Saturday. This time though, she played again. I, I was there for like two or three months. She, played, she complained again. And this time I recorded it on YouTube. So if you look at my Westfield Stratford video, I recorded it. And this time she emailed me quoting that video and it was all over. And so that's it really. The folks at Westfield, well this one shop has stopped thousands of people from watching my music. And I know from a lot of you guys, you guys, you, a lot of you fans have found me at Westfield. So it's a bit of a shame, but you know what, 2015, holds bigger and better places for me to play. So, while it's a small drawback, you know, I think I, I think I had my time there. I found a lot of really loyal fans. And the loyal fans out there, you know exactly who you are. And I'd like to say thank you uh, for watching me play and, you know, being part of the community. So right now we're off to see Sheldon, one of my roadies. He, um, you know, he's been one of my main roadies for a long time. And one of, one of, one of our main gigs that we do is Westfield and uh, I'm gonna tell him the bad news that Westfield will no longer uh, be one of them. Uh, I hire a lot of people to do my, be my roadies. And I'm actually hiring quite a few more to do roadies at Wrestle Stratford. And I have to tell them all the bad news that they're no longer have a job doing at Stratford. There's one that I hired specifically for Stratford. And unfortunately, I can't help the local community anymore by giving uh, teenagers, I always hire teenagers because the teenagers are the ones that need the money and they, you know, it's incredible for them. So no longer will they have a job. It's a bit unfortunate, but I guess there you go. So I'll see you when I tell the news to Sheldon. So we're here with Sheldon now. And, oh look, he's around the corner. Uh, so we're gonna tell him some of the bad news. So Sheldon, I've got some bad news for you, unfortunately. What's the... some really bad news. I, 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 you know what? You might have even heard of this on Facebook already. I'm not gonna do sure. Have you heard any bad news for me on Facebook yet? No. Okay, so come on YouTube. Let's break Sheldon the bad news. Unfortunately, Sheldon, I have been sacked from Westfield. 
He says. He snacks me. He says. I'm, I'm not joking. Why? Well, Shouda knows about, you know, that Asian woman that always, in that one shop that always, you know, pesters me. She, yeah. she really went ham to the Westfield, uh, the Westfield, what do you call them? The corporate Westfield guys and complained very, very highly. So Westfield sent me an email the Sunday after our last gig on Saturday and they've told me that I can no longer play there ever, ever again. Wow. wow. <sighs> How did that make you feel, Sheldon? That was... I have no job though. That was a source of quite good income. But the new other concerts, you know, what, what, what do we do in October, Sheldon? The, the, the one I, I hosted myself, the one with Angeline Chen. What? The gig of Angeline Chen. What's the gig? What, well, you the, mean the one? Yes, oh, yeah, in yeah, October yeah, 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 in the church, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you mean that church? Yeah, exactly. So we, so we still have plenty of shops going oh, on yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. that's all good. So. Am I still the doorman? You're still working, man. You are still my roadie. So we're still okay. going to work, so. Okay. We've told Shannon the bad news. That's really good. And I'll see you in the next part of the video. Hey, guys. So I'm at the Old Dutch now. And we've just been to another restaurant. And now we're at a second restaurant. And it's called the Old Dutch in Chelsea. Um, it's a pretty upmarket place here. And we've got this lovely pancake, brick kind of thing. Strawberries, bananas, ice cream, and beautiful maple syrup. I love how they got the maple syrup in little bowls. You can like, just do it with this one. Wrap it around and, ooh, maple syrup goodness. Lovely knives and forks. £8.95 for this. And I think it's brilliant value for money. It's nice and hot, nice and warm. Tasty, delicious, and it's massive. So I'll see you in the next part of the vlog. Wrap it with the ice cream. Get a strawberry. Oh. Mm. It's so good. This food is so good. Now it's strawberry. Let's dip it into the maple syrup like that. Oh. Mm. Mm. It's a more. Mm. Put it over the ice cream. Mm. This time with the banana. Cut banana. Mm. Mm. Oh, look at that. Zoom into that. Oh. Ooh. Come, come really close. Really macro shot. Macro shot. Oh, God, look at it dripping. Oh, it's my mouth. It's my mouth. That is so good. See you in the next part of the video.